Hi, and welcome to this video where we're gonna be making the perfect toad or frog house. I've done this quite a few times and we've managed to attract lots of different frogs and toads to our backyard in the past. So I'm very excited to share this technique with you. All right, to start off, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a shovel, a hammer, a drill with some small drill bits, a clay pot that you don't need anymore, a ruler, one liter of water, and some protection, maybe gloves and eyeglasses, and a pencil and possibly a bowl. To start off, we're gonna measure your pot. Now you want the door to be about a quarter of the size of the pot. In the link in the description below, or if you search for Toads and Frogs Frog House in Google and click on the first result that has our website, you'll see a table where we explain how big of a toad your toad house can accommodate depending on the size of your pot. If you know about the size of the frogs and the toads in your yard, you might wanna check that table before getting started just to make sure that you have the right size pot. Keep in mind that toads can grow very big by the end of the summer, so you definitely wanna make sure it's big enough for that toad throughout the entire season. All right, next we're gonna draw a door onto our pot and we're just gonna outline exactly where we wanna have the door and what it would look like. So there we go. All right, next we're gonna wet the pot. This is a super important step because it'll help moisten and weaken the clay a little bit. It'll be easier to drill into if you wet it. If you don't wet it, it's gonna be a bit harder to do this step. Next, grab your drill. And you're gonna wanna drill at a 45 degree angle, minimum, at least have an angle when you're drilling. That's gonna help you create a groove into the clay. Now our goal here isn't to drill right through the clay completely. We just wanna weaken it at different points around the door so that it's much easier to break after with a hammer. If you don't do this step with the water and the drilling, you're probably gonna break the pot and it's gonna be very hard to have a nice even entryway. All right, next we're gonna grab our hammer and we are slowly going to tap away at this entry. As you can see, thanks to the holes that we created, it is easier to break off certain pieces. If you find that parts of it are a little bit sharp, feel free to sand them down. Toad and frog skin is definitely very fragile and you don't want them to get hurt on your house. So just sanding it down will help them out and make it a little bit more accommodating to them. All right, location is everything. Once your frog or toad house is ready, we're gonna go find a very safe place in your backyard or garden to place the toad home or the frog house. Now, this is really important. If you're making a house for a frog, you wanna place it right next to a body of water. If you don't have a body of water in your backyard, you can create a frog-friendly pond. We have a complete guide on how to do this, or check out the link in the description below to learn how to do this. If you're making a toad home, you can place this in your backyard, somewhere safe, away from predators, where it's moist, and there's a lot of vegetation. Don't forget that your cats and dogs are predators. So you wanna keep them away from this area. All right, next we're gonna dig a hole. That's about the size of the clay pot. And we're just gonna turn over the soil. What we're trying to do here is make it very accommodating to toads that like to dig. Toads burrow during the day. And this is really important. I've seen YouTube videos and articles telling you to get a clay pot with a base. This is a terrible idea. Do not have a base on your clay pot. Toads need to burrow and they will not be interested in your toad house if they cannot dig into the ground underneath it. Next, you can add some water and mix it all together. Just make it super moist and mushy and comfortable for a toad. What I'm trying to do here is soften the ground and make it really accommodating to them. Next, we're gonna set up the area around it. I'm just gonna place the pot right in the hole and I'm placing a bunch of vegetation around it. My goal is to camouflage it from predators, but still keep it super accommodating to toads. I also saw another YouTube video that said to dig a hole in the ground to cover it with branches and to put grass on top. That is a terrible idea. That's a great home for a snake, not a frog or a toad. I've got a lot of experience attracting toads and frogs to our yard, so definitely just follow this tutorial and let us know how it goes in the comments below. And there you have it, an awesome toad house. As you can see here, it's very close to a body of water, but it's not close enough for frogs. If your goal is to attract frogs to your backyard or your garden, you definitely want to create a frog pond. You can create a little clay house like we just made in this video, but there needs to be a permanent body of water if you want to attract aquatic frogs. So definitely check out the link in the description below. I show you exactly how you can create a frog-friendly pond in your backyard that can naturally attract them to your property.